Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So my name is Charlie, and in this video, I want to take you guys on my entrepreneurial journey. I started off making about $800 per month right out of college, and since then, I've grown my income to well over $80,000 per month. I'll take you guys through my journey of graduating college without a job, getting rejected by every single medical school I applied to, and then really getting by using side hustles only. So it definitely has been a long journey. It's been about seven years since I graduated college, but yeah, I just really want to open up about all the struggles I've gone through because I know a lot of you guys are in the same position. Your, your parents are like, what are you gonna do for the rest of your life? Or they're trying to get you to do some certain career path that you just don't wanna do. So if you've ever faced that type of self-doubt or doubt from your parents, I just really hope that this video can inspire you. I'll try and give you guys the tips and tricks that really help me start to make more money as well as to find my passions in life. And yeah, I just really want you guys to be able to do all the things that you want to do in life. So just a little background about myself. I am 28 years old right now. I graduated from UCLA with a degree in psychobiology. And right when I got out of college, I had zero job prospects, you guys. I spent my whole college career being in the safe zone, right? Like I thought I was going to medical school, my parents wanted me to go to medical school. And that was the safe answer I just gave everyone when they asked me what I was gonna do with my life. But secretly, I knew that that definitely was not something I wanted to do. But yeah, that was my answer for over four years. I found myself graduated from college in 2014. I was unemployed and I realized Hey, I have to do something because I need to pay my own rent. I need to pay for my food. I need to pay for my life expenses. Thank God I didn't have any student debt. So thank you to my parents for that. But yeah, I just didn't have a job. And I was like, I need to do something so that I can continue living in Los Angeles. So to pay for things, I literally just did side hustles. The first month after graduating, I made about $800 in income. The second month, I made about $1.5,000. And the third month, I made about $2,000. I was always looking for opportunities. You know, I was in that hustle mode and I definitely think that that helped me out. There are just so many different opportunities around us. And when you're hustling and trying things out, you learn to look for places where you can add value and as a result, make money. So you equate money not with just showing up for a nine to five job, but instead you equate it with looking for opportunities each dollar that I made was the result of me going out there and just getting it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but at the time, you know, I was just always looking for where I was going to make my next dollar. If you've never lived in LA, making that much money, you know, like $2,000 a month was not enough. But luckily my rent was only $450 a month and somehow I was able to make it through those first few years. I want to let you guys know that if you're in a tough situation, you're there for a reason. It's really about how you learn to get out of that situation, start building wealth. And yeah, if you're in a really tough spot right now, just know that this situation is going to actually help you out in the end and propel a lot of your future success. So yeah, by the end of the first year, I was making at least a few grand per month. And most of this income was actually coming from tutoring. That was my most consistent gig. And I think at one time I was working with up to three students concurrently. Another side hustle that I was doing was photography and video. So I was shooting weddings for like $500 to $1,000 each. I was doing a lot of graduation shoots. I was signed to a modeling agency and doing print shoots every once in a while. And yeah, it was a really fun time in my life. I wasn't making that much money, but I really had a lot of freedom with my time. Sometimes I'd make a lot of money in a couple months. And the other times I just have slow and steady income from my tutoring gigs. For example, in the year 2016, I think that was the year where I did over 150 graduation shoots in the span of one summer. That was definitely a win for my income, but doing three to five graduation shoots almost every single day really took a big toll on me. I was caught in the whirlwind of doing all these gigs, making money, but in doing that, I didn't focus on any self-improvement. And as a result, I just could not break making over six figures. I was just too focused on trading my time for money, which you guys is great at the start. That's what I think everyone should do at the start of their entrepreneurial journey. But at some point, you're going to want to figure out a way to actually leverage your time and scale by having other people work for you or doing something that generates more passive income. When you do that, that's when you can really build real wealth because then you're not just trading your time for money. So going back to my story, it's still like 2016. And at this time, I'm still looking for a lot of opportunities. I started a clothing company called Charge and that failed and I lost like over $20,000. I also started a marketing agency with some friends and that failed. I started another college clothing business with some friends and that did not work out. I tried drop shipping, that did not work out. But finally, I started doing Amazon FBA, which luckily I still do to this day. So that really is the whole theme of my life, you guys. It's a lot of losses and just a few wins. 
but those few wins are all that you need. Even if you have like an 80%, 90% fail rate, all you need is that first one business to sort of go well, and then everything's going to snowball from there on out. By the year 2017, I was about three years into self-employment. And as a result of always looking into different things that I could do to make money, I actually decided to get my real estate license. I'd also been working as a mortgage processor on and off since 2013, so I decided to get my loan license as well. This way I could help people buy homes and I could help them get loans at the same time. I always tell people if you want an uncapped income, you want to make a lot of money, then working on commission is a really great way to do that. It's hard and a lot of people fail, but you guys, you just need to take those risks. You need to be okay not making any money for the first few months because these types of commission-based jobs, they tend to grow exponentially. You get one client, that client refers you to two other clients, and you start seeing compound growth in both your number of clients as well as the revenue that you're making. I'll include a video I made about getting your loan license because I do think that is a great career and not too many people are talking about that. And by the way, it's better than getting your real estate license. So now at the start of 2019, I was still hustling all the time doing different things. I started getting more influenced by people I was following on social media and I decided that building a personal brand was extremely important. I know that the whole hustle culture can get a little bit toxic at times, but for me, it was a very needed stressor in my life that pushed me out of my comfort zone. By following people on social media, I saw what they did on a day-to-day -day basis, and I was like, hey, I need to start doing these types of things if I wanna start seeing more results in my life. If you know sort of what you want to do in life with entrepreneurship or whatever business you wanna start, I recommend finding people that are doing that exact same thing and sort of have them be your virtual mentor. See what they post on Instagram, on YouTube, their Instagram stories, and some of their energy is going to rub off on you. So I found people that were doing exactly what I want to do. I saw their habits, their daily routines, and I was like, I need to start implementing that into my life. So after a two week trip to Southeast Asia with my girlfriend, I went super hard on all those things. I started waking up early. I started reading, meditating, running, all these things. Waking up early has changed my life so much and that's why I tell every aspiring entrepreneur to try waking up at like 5 or 6 a.m., implement a morning routine and just see how that works for you. I know it's really hard to wake up early but I will link my morning routine video in the description below. Hopefully that gives you guys some inspiration and I also recommend checking out The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. This book really put it into my head that I had to get up early or else I just would not succeed. So after that I started posting more and more content on social media. I started doing a tip to Tuesday on Instagram, where every Tuesday I'd post a bunch of personal finance and entrepreneurship tips. I started making more and more YouTube videos, and if you guys look at my first YouTube videos, I think I've privated a bunch of them. I was so bad at talking to the camera. I mean, I'm not like amazing right now, but if you look back then and you compare it to now, you'll see a huge difference. And that just goes to show you that even if you don't have a natural strength in something, it's definitely something that you can work on and get good at. So by the end of 2019, you know, I was doing pretty well. I started my real estate brokerage, and the people on social social media that I was following got it into my head that I should have a really nice car for marketing purposes. So that's when I got my I Roadster. I used it to really help grow my TikTok and then I used that to help grow my YouTube channel. By the start of 2020, I was doing more real estate deals. I was doing more mortgages. Ecom was going well and I was really heavily focused on growing my personal brand. Seeing the success of my TikTok really helped give me confidence to do more YouTube. So if you guys want to build your personal brand, I definitely recommend starting off on TikTok, reposting those videos onto Instagram and then start funneling those viewers onto your YouTube, which is the main platform you want to build. I knew that that was where I could really impact people because on TikTok, on Instagram, you know, these are very short posts and you can't really fit too much information onto them. However, when you get people to your actual YouTube channel, they watch like a 10 to 15 minute video of you. That's when you can really connect with your audience and that's when you can really deliver value. The pandemic hit and I knew that the opportunity to make informational videos was huge. So I started making videos about the pandemic about the stimulus stuff and about investing. And really this was all perfect timing, you guys. Like all the stuff I was super interested in and it was stuff that was trendy. So I think in April of 2020, I actually made one to two videos almost every single day. And that consistency really paid off. My YouTube channel started growing a lot faster. And I realized that YouTube is a business. This is a business that can create many multiple streams of income. And so I started really learning about that. I really dove into doing affiliate marketing. That has been a huge win for my business. I started doing brand deals. I started making the right type of evergreen content. Soon I was making more than I thought I would ever make on YouTube because when I started YouTube, my goal was to actually just cover my car payment. So AKA make about $1,000 per month. And now I can easily make that in less than half a day. 
I've made some other videos about how much I plan to make this year, my income streams, and that will give you a better and more specific breakdown of how I'm able to make my income today. I've also made a bunch of TikToks about how much money I can make with my YouTube channel, but every time I do that, it seems like a lot of people try and call me out and they say, that's not possible and you're just lying. But you guys, you can make so much money with YouTube. It's just absolutely insane. For example, the most amount of money I've ever made from one single integration on one of my videos is $30,000. Most of my integrations on YouTube, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically a 60 second clip of me uh, promoting some type of product or company. Those run between, I'd say eight to $20,000. And when you work with a bunch of different affiliates, those really add up. And the best thing about YouTube is that a lot of it is passive. Once you make a video, it's going to continue making you money for a long time, especially if you know how to make the right content. I'm actually gonna drop my YouTube course in the description below. I don't like to push it too much, but I think I have a lot of really great value in there. It's basically the step-by-step -step things that I've done to help grow my channel from you know, just last year having about 2,000 subscribers to this year having over 300,000 subscribers. So if you've ever wanted to build a YouTube channel, that might be a really great resource for you. But no pressure because I have a lot of free YouTube growth content on my channel as well. So let that be a lesson, you guys. A personal brand can be extremely profitable and it can help you grow everything in your life. It's also helped with my other sources of income. For example, I do more real estate deals now, I do more mortgage deals, and this is all because of my personal brand. What I recommend doing is working on one to two sources of income really perfecting those and then working on another set of side hustles or income sources while those other sources just run by themselves. The start of almost anyone's entrepreneurial journey is going to be very slow, but you'll find that if they keep at it, if they keep looking for new opportunities, then one day they're gonna start hitting that exponential portion of the graph. And if they keep at it for even longer, that's when they start getting into that vertical growth. I definitely feel like that's where I am right now. And it's mainly because I just stuck with it. I knew that I wouldn't want to do anything else in my life. And I just kept my mind open for all the different opportunities there were for making money. Yes, I definitely got lucky, you guys. One reason I got lucky is because I was just getting out of my comfort zone and looking for new opportunities all the time. I really wanna stress that you need to actively search for these opportunities. Otherwise, you're just gonna be waiting and you're gonna be waiting for a long time. On this whole journey, I realized that there are a lot of people like me who just don't want to work a nine to five and they want to do their own thing. But unfortunately, without the right education or without the right guidance, it's just really hard to do this. That's why my whole mission has been to sort of teach people to be their own bosses, try out different side hustles, and it's just all gonna come together. I'm a huge proponent of building multiple sources of income because that definitely changed my life a lot. And I really do think that it can change yours as well. I stopped really caring about impressing other people and I made Make these types of videos not to show off at all but just to give you guys the inspiration to do what I did. You know I was a lost college graduate with no job with parents that wanted me to get into a field that I really did not want to do. I think there are too many people in that same exact position they just sort of go with the flow and go into that career path and while it can be a great job I just think it's really sad that they're not doing something that they've always wanted to do. And most importantly you guys when you work for yourself you are in control of your time which is your most valuable asset. So yeah that sort of sums up the last six and a half, seven years of my life. I want you guys to look at your life as a journey and just don't really compare it with other people. Your journey begins whenever you want it to start. And that's why it's so important to just go out there, start experimenting, and don't be afraid to fail. This is your only life, so that's why you want to make the most of it doing the things that you want to do. So yeah, if you're in a similar position and you want to start working for yourself, but you don't really know what to do and you feel sort of lost, just know that I was in the same position as you. And I hope that I can be someone that you look at, not necessarily up to, but just look at and be like, okay, that guy did the same thing. He's not that special. If he can do it, that means that I should be able to do it as well. And that, you guys, is 100% true. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this. I make a ton of videos about personal finance, entrepreneurship, and investing. Wishing you guys all the best luck on your entrepreneurial journey. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.